The massive volcanic eruption and tsunami in Tonga has caused catastrophic damage, with homes destroyed and many communities covered in a thick layer of ash. Satellite images show only a small amount of land remains above water. The plumes of gas, smoke and debris from the volcano reached 30 kilometers into the sky. But the main health concerns are from ash in the air which people are breathing. At the moment, there would be high levels of sulfur in the air and water. This is a risk to drinking water and fishing, which is vital to the Tongan people and could lead to a rise in water temperatures. So, the priority is to find safe shelter and clean water and to escape the volcanic smog. The gases spewing out of the water include sulphur dioxide, which is of particular interest because of its global cooling effect. But will this underwater volcanic eruption affect the global climate? On June 12, 1991, Pinatubo spewed about 15 million tons of sulphur dioxide into the stratosphere. The total mass of SO2 in the volcanic cloud was 20 teragrams. The particles remained in the stratosphere for 3-4 years after the explosion. Researchers recorded a 0.5 degree Celsius drop in the average global temperature over large parts of the Earth between 1992 and 1993. The Tonga volcanic cloud contains roughly 0.4 teragrams of SO2. This means it is unlikely to have a significant cooling effect on temperatures globally. Along with SO2, the eruption also released nitrogen oxide, two gases that create acid rain when they interact with water and oxygen in the atmosphere. Acid rain causes widespread crop damage and could affect Tongan staples such as taro, corn, bananas and garden vegetables. Long-lasting effects include damage to coral reefs, eroding coastlines and disrupting fisheries. Falling ash could also damage coral reefs. Vast areas of the reefs in the immediate impact area at Hunga Tonga are probably buried and smothered by large deposits of volcanic ash. Eruptions such as these also release more iron into the water, which can boost the growth of blue-green algae and sponges that further degrade reefs. The freak waves produced by the eruption have also been blamed for causing an oil spill at the Pampilla refinery in Peru. Peruvian authorities sealed off three beaches on Monday after a limited spill of oil off the coast of Calao and Ventanilla districts near the capital, Lima. This affects the fishermen, the population that they feed with the fish, and marine animals. <laughs> 